So we've all heard not go to bed with your phone or any other device, but we know it's not that easy, right? That's your downtime. It's sort of like <laughs> how you sometimes wind down. And to set your alarm and yeah. And I woke up this morning and inserted the little toothpicks into my eyelids <laughs> to hold them open to look at my phone and see what mm -hmm. time it was. Now, we've also heard that if you do have to turn it on, turn on the blue light filter. Have you right. heard of the blue light filter? Yeah. Like it's night shift or night light mode? Well, it turns out that doesn't really do so much for you. We asked our sleep expert, Dr. Michelle Dreyerup, about it. So those filters don't do anything. Um, and we thought they were helpful. And then when they actually looked at it, they do not do what they say they do. Um, and I feel really bad because I've been recommending this for patients. And yeah, the filters, they aren't effective. So could this possibly be marketing by the <laughs> phone companies? No, they would never do that to us. Recent studies actually found that blue light filters may trick our brains into thinking it's daytime, which would of course have the opposite effect of what it's supposed I to mean, do. I mean, can yeah. I just state the obvious? It, it should be dark when you go to sleep. Yes. There should be no light. Zero dark. <laughs> Red light, blue light. Like, and it most no definitely light. should right. be light when you wake up. But yes, that is you. not the like, case all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> yeah. So we also asked our expert about the sleep trackers. A lot of us like to wear like a Fitbit or, Bit or Apple Watch. And she said they give you a general sense of how much you're sleeping and tend to be more accurate for people who are good sleepers. But to get a really accurate reading, you need an EEG, which actually measures brain activity.